Many African countries struggle to show their own event as the broadcast for this year's AFCON is overpriced. In recent years, the average price for free-to-air rights in SADC was less than 1.3 million Namibia dollars. But this year, the amount has escalated to 11.4 million Namibia dollars. This is not only too much for countries that are struggling with poverty and diseases, but it also comes at the backdrop of economic woes experienced by many countries in sub-Saharan Africa. A tender was put out for an agency to manage the free-to-air rights, which were previously owned by a French-based company, Lacadam. The tender was then won by the African Union of Broadcasters, AUB, which is now managing the rights, with only a few percent of Africans having access to satellite TV. If nothing is done, the majority of them may not watch their countries participating in this year's continental showpiece at all. According to AUB's project manager for news and content exchange, Audrey Kamsu, AUB was informed by CAF that they won the bid very late, making it difficult to get sponsors. That's why they are now requesting higher amounts in order to recoup their investment. Namibia's Brave Warriors have qualified for the 2019 edition, the third in total, having done so in 1998 and 2008. Efforts to get comment from the Confederation of African Football proved futile.